October, we raise awareness about breast cancer, but we often forget men also battle the disease. KCAL News anchor Amy Johnson met a brave man who is battling breast cancer and sharing his story. We don't call him a breast cancer survivor just yet, but instead a cancer warrior who is fighting for himself and for others. Each October, we celebrate breast cancer survivors and encourage those battling the disease that impacts one in eight women, but there is often an overlooked victim of this disease, men. I was shocked as a male. 61-year-old Renee Valdry of Orange County was diagnosed with breast cancer a year ago. In the back of my mind, that it could happen, but it was rare. It's very rare. Male breast cancer makes up less than 1% of all new breast cancer diagnoses in the United States. Dr. Valentina Bonev is a board certified breast surgical oncologist with Breastlink and she's Renee's doctor. To give you some perspective on that, just under 3,000 men will be diagnosed with breast cancer this year versus approximately 300,000 women will be diagnosed with breast cancer this year. She says because men don't get regular mammograms or screenings like women, when they notice something, it's usually at a later stage or more advanced than a woman's diagnosis. And that's exactly how Renee found his cancer after taking part in a push-up challenge. I wasn't as firm, but I noticed that on my left side, there was still a little firmness and also there was just a little different in terms of symmetry in my chest. He was diagnosed with invasive ductal carcinoma, a cancer common in women, and the same cancer I battled. But Renee was diagnosed as an aggressive stage three, meaning the disease was more advanced and it was a battle he'd seen before. My grandmother in her 60s died of metastatic breast cancer. My mother had died, died just about less than a year of my prognosis of metastatic breast cancer. I had my youngest aunt um, was diagnosed with breast cancer. He's sharing his story to help others. If you feel something, say something. If you see something, say something. It's better to get a message that nothing's there than to get that traumatic message of something's there. Do you think that you would have been treated differently if you had prostate cancer versus breast cancer? Probably because it's a male thing. And unfortunately, there is a certain amount of ignorance and I would say lack of getting tested for prostate cancer. So, I mean, but it's, I'm not gonna say it's acceptable, but um, certainly you, you're not, I wouldn't be looked at as the unicorn like I am now with breast cancer. And that's how you feel? I do feel like a unicorn in that respect. Because it's, it's when I tell folks, I get the white eyes. Even during his treatment. It's weird because there's all ladies there and my wife goes with me. So I think people are confused when they don't know if it's for her or for me. But when they call the name and they see me jump up, you know, they look and um, so. I think that there are still some men in this country who don't realize that they can get breast cancer. Men do have breast tissue. It's very little, but they have unfortunately enough breast tissue that cancer can form. She gives men the same advice as women. They should be actually looking out for the same things that we tell women to look out for, a breast lump, nipple retraction or nipple inversion, bleeding from the nipple, skin changes like thickening of the breast skin. Men are medically treated the same way women are. Renee had a mastectomy, 12 lymph nodes removed. He underwent chemotherapy and radiation. Do you call yourself a cancer survivor? Not yet. Next week I have another test and so I'm just crossing my fingers and maybe that'll drop down to five or zero, then, then I will start to feel that I can join that, that very, very elite club of being a survivor. I hope to welcome you to the club.